All right, let's jump right into it. From the Daily Huddle, we have a latest article on scams, schemes, and hacks that you need to be aware of. This stuff is rampant. It is everywhere. You all have to educate yourself and be prepared and take precautions not to be scammed. So let's get into this article. Apple security alert issued as new scam drains bank accounts and steals your personal info. Let's just go through this, man. You got to know about this stuff. Most of you do know about it, but they will get you. They are out there nonstop trying to get your information, trying to do man in the middle attacks. Uh, if you have a uh, hardware wallets, they're trying to do uh, address spoofing. They're trying to get you to log into your uh, cloud accounts. They're trying to get you to uh, log into your bank accounts and take your information. All right, let's go. Security experts are warning. They are warning millions of Apple users about a new scam designed to extract your sensitive personal and banking information. It is dangerous out there. The scam comes in the form of several fake iCloud text messages containing malicious links. Uh, yeah, this is reported by Trend Micro. So they're sending you these um, iCloud text messages and you're wondering, why am I getting all these damn messages? And they have links in them and you don't know what's up. I just ignore them. And most times I will go in and try to block and report as spam if I get these things. Never click on any link in a text message or an email. If you have any questions, if it is Apple or it's your bank, call your bank, call the number on your bank. Do not click on a link, do not go to a link in the text or email and try to log in or call that number. They may have a call center set up to scam you as well. It has happened. Call the number you look up online or in your statement and say, hey, I got this message. Is this real? They most likely will say no. All right, let's keep, let's keep going on this, man. This is kind of good stuff. All right, here is a look at the fake alerts. Cloud service termination. Upgrade now or lose your stored photos and files. I've had that. And they put the URL. Account suspended. Your account has been suspended due to reaching its limits. Upgrade now or claim 100 gigabytes free. I've gotten, I've gotten all these, man, because I do have an iPhone and an uh, iPad, all that crap. So I, I don't use the cloud. I have stopped using Apple's cloud because of all this stuff. It's not them, but I don't use the cloud because that stuff is out there just waiting to be uh, data breached. Yeah. Oh, what's the next one? We did the cloud storage alert. Upgrade immediately or say goodbye to your stored photos and files. Why would you store your files on the cloud? Dude, this space is so cheap. Go out, buy a couple memory sticks, man. It's so easy. Go buy a two terabyte Kingston drive. Stick that stuff on that drive and put it in your safe for safekeeping. Put it on the cloud. It's so stupid. They could lose it. You could forget your account information. 30 years go by. You're, how are you going to get that stuff off? Technology is going to change. It's a joke. Keep it in your own possession. All right. When the links are, are clicked, unsuspected users are taken to a phony owl, uh, I, oh my God, English hard for me. Yeah, when you click on the links, you're taken to a phony site there. It's a phony iCloud login page. It could be a phony bank page. It could be anything. It's just fake. So you can type in and they basically capture your information as you type it in. And then they go and they get your account and they take all your money or take all your information. All right, once you log in, scammers instantly gain access to your private data. With iCloud keychain users especially exposed to losing credit and debit card information and website login credentials, not a good thing. Yeah. Let's see, in the last week, Trend Micro says it blocked the phasing attempts of more than 5,000 times on behalf of its clients. Don't click. Do not click. They should put do not click. If you do, you will be taken to a fake iCloud login page. And the old scammers can steal your login credentials. With them, they can block you from your account. Yep. Make purchases using your uh, stored credit card details and even access your private data. Watch out. Da, da, da. All right. And that is it on that note. That is your daily warning. Uh, this is a great site. I would go and subscribe or follow this page, this website. I don't know if you can sign up for a newsletter. Oh, you can subscribe. Check the latest headline. Don't miss a beat. Subscribe to get email alerts. I'm going to do that. I'm going to get email alerts. 
Uh, let's see, daily auto alerts. Yeah, I'd get that. Get the scoop on crypto. That is not a bad idea. Ooh, we got Bitcoin at 42,980, big daddies. Coming back. Coming back. Uh, yeah, that's all. Just watch it, man. You know not to click on anything on your phone, links in, uh, in the text, emails, etc. Uh, yeah, just again, if someone's doing that and you have a question, call your bank directly. Call your credit card directly with the number on your statements. Uh, call the, I guess you can call Apple somewhere. I don't know. None of these damn tech companies have customer service from Amazon, eBay, Apple, all these. Uh, it just makes you sick sometimes. You can't even call a human. But anyway, be careful. Interesting article. Lots of stuff is going on cyber attacks. Just because they, uh, just because the mainstream news is not reporting it doesn't mean it's not happening. It's happening everywhere. A couple of weeks ago, Equiland is one of the major uh, finance companies that lends out loans for people on the uh, stock trades who uh, basically short stocks. You basically take a loan out to cover the short, I think, and uh, they deal with billions of bucks, right? And they were hacked. And um, there was years ago, the Office of Program Management, OPM, Office of Program Management, this is the government entity that keeps track of all the government employees from people with clearances, military, everyone. What level of clearance when you were hired, all your information, your uh, background information, that was hacked years ago. And uh, the lady that ran the thing, they just kind of just gave her a little slap on the wrist and probably promoted her because incompetence gets promoted in the government. I remember that. That was just a horrible thing. Nobody knows the guy. They probably think the Chai Coms got it. Or someone got all that information, everything on you, every piece of information. All right, just putting it out there. Keep, keep, uh, keep aware of all this stuff and go monitor these sites. And uh, yeah, don't click on anything. Do not click. That should be a t-shirt. Do not click.